This video will answer four questions. What is the meaning of CAGR and how it is calculated? The difference between CAGR and growth rate and how to calculate CAGR with the RRI function and create a custom CAGR function using the Lambda function. If this sounds interesting, keep watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. CAGR is an acronym for Compound Annual Growth Rate. It is sometimes referred to as KEGA and it basically describes the rate at which an investment would have grown from its beginning balance to its ending balance if it had grown at the same rate every year. KEGA assumes that the profit from the investment is reinvested at the end of each period and interest compounds annually. Analysts often use KEGA in financial analysis and financial modeling. Investors use it to evaluate the performance of an investment against its pairs and forecast future earnings. So, how is KEGA calculated? There is no CAGR function in Excel. However, I'll discuss three ways you can calculate it. You can calculate it manually using this formula. Ending value divided by the initial or beginning value raised to the power of 1 divided by the number of years, all minus 1. Another way is to use the RRI function in Excel. RRI returns an equivalent interest rate for the growth of an investment. It has three arguments. Or, create a custom CAGR function using the lambda function. All will give the same result and the results are usually expressed in percentage terms. Please note that N excludes the first year of investment. Now, what is the difference between KEGA and growth rate? KEGA calculates the compound growth rate over multiple periods, while growth rate refers to the percentage change in a value from one period to another. Could be monthly, quarterly, or annually. I discussed this in my video on year-on-year -year analysis. The link is in the description box below. Both can be positive, that's an increase, or negative, a decline. Now, let's go ahead and calculate KEGA using the three methods. Here's the 2018 to 2021 total revenue of a company. To calculate the KEGA using the formula approach, you need the number of years, beginning value, and the ending value. Remember, the number of periods excludes the initial period. So, N equals 3. Beginning value is 37,500 in 2018. Ending value is 44,900 in 2021. So equals, open bracket, open another bracket, ending value, that's B9, divided by beginning value, B8. Close the bracket. Raised to the power of, open bracket, 1 divided by N. That's B7. Close the bracket and close the first bracket. All minus 1. Change the number format, percentage, and two decimal places. Cool. Next is the RRI function. Equals RRI, number of periods in B7. Present value is the beginning value in B8. Future value is the ending value in B9. Close the bracket and enter. Format as percentage. Next is the custom CAGR function using the lambda function. Some Excel users find this function intimidating, but I want to assure you that it's pretty easy to use. It only requires you to define your parameters and state the calculation. We've established that there are three parameters in the CAGR function. So using lambda, we'll define those parameters, lambda. The first parameter is the number of period, denoted by n. That's all you need to type, n. The second parameter is the beginning value, which can also be denoted by any letter. I'll use bv so it's easier to understand. The third parameter is the ending value. I'll use ev for that. Now that the parameters have been defined, we need to specify the calculation to be performed. So just like the first approach, open bracket, open another, 
ending value denoted by EV divided by BV. Close the bracket, raised to the power of, open bracket, 1 divided by N. Close the bracket and close the first bracket minus 1. Close the bracket for the lambda function. You notice that the formula is here to be linked to the data. This is where that comes in. Open another bracket and link the data in the order of the parameters. N is in cell B7, BV is in cell B8, and EV is in cell B9. Close the bracket and enter. We can now create the function. Copy the lambda function where the parameters and calculation were defined. Press Ctrl and F3 for the name manager. Click on new. Name is CAGR. Refresh to. Now paste the lambda function there. Click OK. Let's see if it works. C A G R. See, it appears as one of the functions in your workbook, and the parameters are clearly stated. N link to B7, link to B8, link to B9. Enter. All three methods give the same results, and your commentary can be total revenue grew at a CAGR of 6.19% from 37.5 million in 2018 to 44.9 million in 2021. Then you can state the factors driving the growth in revenue. That's all for today. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Please subscribe and click the like button. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.